What is up guys and welcome back to another video. Today is the start of a new FIFA 18 career mode series. Now, a couple of weeks ago, Palmer have been promoted back to the Serie A after three years away, I think three or four years away, since they were put down into the Serie D from bankruptcy. And today's, or not today's, this series challenge will be quite a simple one. Can we keep Palmer in the Serie A with the current Serie B squad that they have? It's going to be a tough challenge. If you guys enjoyed the video or this and the series, remember to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, both at Dorotti FC. Let's do this. I'm going to start off by taking a look at the team. I think it's got some promise to it. I think there are some decent players in there. I'm not sure about the centre back, though I do know there is a 70 rated one on the bench there, another 71 rated one. I saw the other day Luca Reni is the only player, so we're not going to sell him. He is the only player, he's now 39, who has stayed with this team. So when they went down to Serie D, every single player left the club except for Luca Reni here. So I'm not going to be selling him at all. The rest of the players, I'll sell if I need to, let's be honest. The plans for the first transfer window get a new central midfielder, get a new goalkeeper, and get a new centre back. So that's what we're going to try and do now. If you guys enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. I'm about to burp. Both at Dorossi FC. I'll probably have another episode out in a three or four days' time. Let's do this. Right, so guys, we're about to jump into our first game. Before we do that, I've made two key signings to bolster the squad. I said I wanted to bring in a new keeper, and I said I wanted to bring in a new centre-back. And I've done both of those things, ticked two boxes there, which is great to see. Not Leon Goretzka for 38 million. I have signed, prepare to massacre a name, but Lomiej Dragowski for four million pounds. He looks like a great player. I've thought about signing him on past career modes that I've done, but haven't ever done it. And finally today, Press the wrong button again, fuck me. Um, we have got him. He looks pretty good. 71 rated, 19 years of age. I expect, because the way I do it, I don't look on foot wheels and stuff to see what their potential is, because that makes it too easy. I've just gone from what I've seen on the transfer hub thing. And he looks like a pretty good player. I think we've got a bargain there. So he's going to be here, hopefully, for a long time. And we have also picked up another name to massacre, Branimir Kalicic for 2.6 million, which is also a pretty good price for a 70 rated centre back that's 19 years old. Both of those could develop into quite good players and especially in the centre back, it was a position where we had a 40 year old, a 35 year old and an on loan player. So we really needed at least one centre back. I'm probably gonna try and sign another one in January and I wanna try and sign a centre mid with the like 2.7 mil I've got left. But anyway, let's sim this game. I'd, I'd expect us to win this. I'd be disappointed if we didn't. So. Let's go. Simming it now. Three, two, one. A one all draw. I was expecting better, so I guess we're probably going to have to have a replay on that. Anyway, I'll come back to you. Hopefully, I have signed the sentiment for what will be the first game of the league season. Right, so guys, we have got our second game of the season, or our first game of the season in the league. I'm not going to be playing this one. I am going to be playing the next game against Bologna for this month. So let's sim it. It's going to be a tough one. We're going to struggle to get wins, but let's see if we can get anything from it. Two minutes into the season and we've already conceded. Okay, let's skip to the end. Three, two, one. That adds worrying because Sampdoria aren't that strong in the league. So this is going to be a real struggle this season. I can tell that now. Anyway, I'm going to try and sign someone on loan because I think that's the best next step forward. So Hopefully we'll get a lone centre mid and it will boost the squad. If not, I will see you in the Bologna game. Right, so guys, it is the first game of the season and we're playing for Bologna. I just seen that I think they've signed Mark Albrighton and Jovetic. So they've got a few stronger players than I expected. But my aim is for a draw from this game, which I think is probably a fair result, I would say. But not a uh, over-expecting result. Ah. We have been, uh, we've also been unable to sign a centre mid as of yet, which is a little bit annoying, but we'll have to cope without him. I don't like this. Ah, uh, that was close, that was close. Option. Chicharetti's a good player, though. Chicharetti's going to actually be key this season, I'm not even joking. 
Go on. Go on. Oh, scores of Morella. That is a good start. Much better than the Sampdoria game. It's a good finish, actually. Let's take a look at that again. They cut it back. Yeah, there's the cutback. He's got a lot of work to do. He just dummies past one and blasts it past the keeper. That is a good goal. Obviously, that was nice. That's what we want to see. I honestly think, I, I don't know, but I think he's got a potential of like 83. So that's really good. I want him to be on the, him and, um, I can't remember his name. <laughs> the the centre-back he's done from Benfica. Um, I give up. Kalachia, there he is. Just got done. Uh, I want them to kind of be OGs of the series, last a long time, day ones. That'd be good if we could have some of them in this series. Scaglia. Okay, there's the space. De Gaudio. I've been massacring his name all day. Come on. Just carry on. Go on. Go on. Oh, I thought that was it. I thought 2-0 would have put us in a good position to get a win. Okay. Half time. We just had a really good chance. Couldn't finish it though. Okay. Straight from the back. That's a little bit over. I wouldn't mind getting Cicciaretti on a permanent deal if we could. He'd be a nice player to have as well, another OG if we could get him. Okay, the Gaudio is really putting on a good performance today. Oh, go on, go on. Calio, off the bar! Come on, that was so close. We need... Okay, there's the... Okay, good strength, good strength. That was a good goal. Get in. That should be the game. Three points. Every single point will be critical. I'm saying we won't get part... 40 points is the maximum we'll get this season. So a 2-0 win here at the beginning is critical. Can I just say, Calio is actually quite a good striker. I actually really like him. Like, I've only played with him for a little bit. Look at the strength on this. Literally, he's, he's held off the defender really well. It's not the first time he's done that. So, actually, I quite like him, I've got to admit. Scozzarella is coming off and Vaccia is coming on. Vaca, not Vaccia. What am I talking about? Oh, no. This is not a good position. Yes, nice. Good clearance. Good clearance. Vaca just kicked it into his own face. We may get a third, you know. I mean, they're, they're really having to push forwards. Cut back. Oh, that didn't work. Mark Albright. And that's what you never see English players move out of the English league. So, the only place you see him go is Scotland, to be honest. Here's Torosidis. Now, here's a chance to get at the opposition. Oh, no. Drogowski's had a decent game to be. He hasn't had to do a lot, but he's had a decent game. Okay, I see the ball. Go on, get there. Make it three. Oh, they've got it away. Still got another chance. Can we get a third goal? That three goals. We're going to need everything we need. Every single goal is going to matter in this season. Go on. Cut it back. Skills. Try to be too skillful. That is probably going to be the end of the game. Let's see. Oh, no. Yeah, there it is. A 2 0 win in our first game. That's not a bad result. Definitely one that I will happily take. Three points against Bologna. Let's see if we can get ourselves another centre-mid. Probably a lone one. Possibly a permanent signing, but probably a lone one. Let's do it. Right, so guys, it is the end of the transfer window. And I managed to make one more lone signing. And there's a player you probably won't have heard of. It's a guy called Palacios. He's 18 years old, centre-mid. He looks pretty good, to be honest. And he's, we're paying like 3000 for his wages, so pretty cheap. And if he improves even two or three rating in this season, then he'll even easily become a first-team player. And if we like him, we could sign him on a permanent at the end of the season. So he's going to be one that I'm going to be keeping an eye on, especially all season. If you guys have enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe. There'll be a second episode coming soon. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!